Today, I will try to create this spiral cone by FreeCAD 1.0 and print the 3D model. I made a mini one for this demonstration. The outer cone covers the inner cone, but I can drop the inner cone from the top into the outer cone. In fact, the inner cone can pass through the outer cone and the design is amazing. Even I can invert the cone and pass through each other. The design can be modified to use a prism, hexagon cone, a ball, a cylinder, a rocket. Whatever you can imagine. Let me begin with FreeCAD part design. Create a new file. Switch to Part Design Workbench. Create a new body. Create a new sketch. Select XY plane. Click OK. Draw a short line 2 mm long. Create a three-point arc. Create a center arc with the center at the y-axis. Define the diameter of the arc as 7 mm. Set the other arc as 28 mm diameter. Select these two points and apply coincident tool. Select these two arcs and apply tangent tool. Click OK. Select Angle Tool and click the Y-axis and the line. Enter 30 degrees. Define the vertical distance of the center to the origin as 11 mm. Press the left mouse button and box select the arc and the line. Select Symmetry Tool. Click the Y axis. The arc and the line are reproduced as mirror image. Select these two points and apply Coincident Tool. Select these two arcs and apply Tangent Tool. Click OK. Box select these two points and apply Coincident Tool. Select Distance Tool and define this line as 2 mm. Select Angle Tool. Select the line and Y axis. Set it as 30 degrees. Make subtended angle by these two lines as 60 degrees, because I want to repeat it 6 times to for the polar pattern. You can use 72 degrees if you want to repeat the pattern 5 times. The pattern is not critical, and you can use different pattern as long as it is within the base of the cone. The cone I used is 40 mm tall with base diameter 32 mm. Rename the body as Spiral. Select the sketch and apply Additive Helix. Change the axis to Select Reference. Then select the Z axis. Use Pitch, Height, Angle for the mode. Change Pitch to 55 mm. And Height to 40 mm as I use 40 mm for the height of the cone. 
then pitch of 55 mm will be about 3 quarters of a turn. This is not critical, and you can use different number of turns. Click OK. Select Additive Helix. Apply Polar Pattern Tool. Change Axis to Select Reference. Change Occurrence to 6. I forgot to select the axis and got an error message. Select the Z axis. Click OK. Create a new body. Rename it as Cone. Create new sketch. Select XZ plane. View section. Use polyline to draw a triangle. There is a redundant constraint number 7. Just delete the constraint or you can set in the sketcher preference to auto remove redundant to do it automatically. Select the dimension tool. Set the horizontal distance as 16 millimeters. And the vertical distance as 40 millimeters. Close the sketch. Select the sketch and apply revolution. Click OK. Select the spiral. Go to Edit. Duplicate the selection. As I will use it several times, so I keep the original for duplication later. Same for the cone. Hide the original spiral and cone by pressing the space bar. Switch to Part Workbench. Select Cone 001 first, hold the Control key, select the Spiral 001. Apply Cut. I get the outer cone for this fidget toy. Rename it as Outer Original. Duplicate the cone again. Select cone 002, press the control key and select outer original. Apply cut. This is the inner cone. Rename it as inner. Show the outer original by press the space bar. Two pieces match perfectly, and there is no clearance between them. So it will be too tight to move one cone out from the other. Need to create clearance between them. What I can do is to make the inside space bigger at the outer cone. Hide both inner and outer cones by pressing the space bar. Select the spiral and make duplicate. Duplicate the cone too. Select the spiral 002. Select offset. And then select 3D offset. The body is bigger by 1 mm offset. For this small cone, I use 0.5 mm as offset. Click OK. Offset is created.
Select cone 003, hold the control key. Select the spiral with offset. Apply cut. Now the outer cone is cut by a bigger spiral that creates the clearance I needed. Rename it as outer. While outer is selected, go to File, Export. Select the file type STL. And save. Select the item inner. Go to File. Export. Select the file type STL. Save. Open the STL file inner. This is the STL for 3D printing. Open the other file outer. Both files are OK and ready for 3D printing. It took about 40 minutes to print these two small cones. The outer cone covers the inner cone, but I can drop the inner cone from the top into the outer cone. The inner cone can pass through the outer cone. Then invert the cone and they pass through each other. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe and give it a like. Thank you for watching.